We talk health matters now. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control is seeking to collaborate with manufacturers, distributors, and customers of animal feed in Nigeria to ensure food safety. Now, this is part of its statutory function as a regulatory agency, as well as a drive to engage its diverse stakeholders at the food value chain. Sarah Yeku has more. Bridge the gap between the regulator and the regulated and to force the safe production of local animal feed. The National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, is inspecting a trading company that supplies industrial raw materials for the food and feeds industries, the Agromerit Limited in Lagos. NAFDAC being a very responsible organization, we understand that we need to partner with those who share our vision. And Agromerit is one of those companies. Sharing a vision means that everybody is on the same page. Um, you know, we collaborate to take key decisions that will affect the industry uh, so that nothing comes to anyone as a surprise. It is a key part of our regulatory work to be sure that we come on onto these uh, major importers and uh, local producers to be sure of what they are doing. The, the stacking method, the distribution method, then the storage condition of these products that they use. Knowing fully well that food safety actually starts from the farm, and then whatever you give to animal comes to man. Stakeholders acknowledge the animal feed production business is rapidly growing and the demand for its products is increasing, but they want the government to make and implement policies that will regulate the market to protect producers and manufacturers. Another major concern is the bottleneck experienced during importation of raw materials. We have no regulatory challenge because we will never take any step without clearance from regulators. We only do what the regulations allow us to do within the country. The challenges are enormous. The cost of doing business in Nigeria today is out of hand. In this country now, holistically, Government says no VAT on agri. Any agri material, they said no VAT. But when we bring goods to the port, they will charge VAT. The VAT is more than the duty. We need direct access to the Ministry of Agriculture. If we have issues, we should be able, without lobbying, you know, without anything, we should be able to go straight to the Ministry of Agriculture. It will be very, very helpful if government, maybe any institution directly working uh, with the government, to be in total control of the port. If that one is solved, I am telling you, this issue of agro-related problems, at least will be mitigated. As awareness grows on the importance of quality animal feed in the health of livestock, NAFTAC says it will continue its holistic regulatory checks in the food value chain. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Lagos. And health workers in the Federal Capital Territory want the free distribution of the micronutrient powder to be included as part of a routine immunization for children nationwide. They made this call at the close out of the community component on enhancing infant and young children nutrition in Nigeria. Helen Osamid Akins reports. Malnutrition is a direct or underlining cause of 45% of all deaths of under five children. UNICEF reveals that Nigeria has the second highest burden of stunted children in the world, with a national prevalence rate of 33% of children under five. It is estimated that 2 million children in Nigeria suffer from severe acute malnutrition, but only two out of everything children affected is currently reached with treatments. To improve the micronutrient status of children in the FCT, Nutrient International True Plan International introduced the micronutrient powder in urban slums of Amak and Guagualada in the FCT through community outreaches in 2022. The nutrient powder is to be given to 55,000 children within 6 to 23 months of age. Malnutrition isn't just a chronic problem, uh, it is also an urgent problem and which is one of the reasons why we try uh, to support government and also use different means to be able to combat. So every day we look for better, faster ways. In Nigeria, we recognize the fact that the level of anemia and, 
I'm happy that uh, we have women around who also understand what anemia means to them. Blood shortage or blood loss is life. If you lose your blood, you are losing life. As the program winds down, these stakeholders want it to be extended and call on the government to include it as part of routine immunization for children nationwide, following the benefits of the powder. When the child is sick, the mother will not sleep. And we, we suggest that, yes, the father should not sleep also. Because that is where in Nigeria there is now uh, paternal leave to assist the mother in whatsoever. We are not visiting our hospital before. But because of this micronutrient, they know where Gishiri PAC is. They always rush in, even ordinary day, asking us, what about that thing? What about that? They call it, some are even calling it a teeth medicine. The micronutrient powder is a combination of at least iron, zinc, and vitamin E used to prevent malnutrition in children and during emergencies. The continuity of this program will not only see to it that more children in the Earth City and the nation at large get the adequate nutrients needed for a healthy lifestyle, but we also ensure that the rates of malnutrition in the country reduce. Helena Samedei Kings. TVC News, Abuja. And the World Meteorological Day has been observed in Abuja with calls for a need to, for more investment in data generation for improved weather predicting. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency, which made the call, says it is an important part of accessing and predicting the weather for benefits across sectors, as Lara Folanyo tells us. The World Meteorological Day for 2023 has as its theme the future of weather, climate and water across generations. The Nigerian Meteorological Agency, NIMET, says putting more investments in generating meteorological data is critical to enhancing the weather prediction process in the country. It acknowledges that already much funding has been put in this area, but this needs to be intensified as it strengthens forecast. The federal government of Nigeria has been investing in meteorological data generation over land, water, and in the atmosphere. The data generated are so critical for past assessment, future predictions, including now casting. Nimet adds that it has special interest in young people who are a major part of its weather forecasting efforts. Already there is a young meteorological ambassador's program in place and it also has agreements with institutions of higher learning on supporting national development. Both observation and forecasting continues to improve with increasing technology and highly skilled personnel. However, the warming trend and anthropogenic activities of humans towards greenhouse gases concentration have continued with upward surge. Therefore, while we work tirelessly to improve on our activities, we must not forget to prepare the future generation for the task ahead. Given the reality of climate change and its devastating impact globally, we would continue to leverage on the information and knowledge provided by the Nigeria Meteorological Agency, which is affiliated to the World Meteorological Organization, effectively manage and present, presenting the emerging threats that we have in the whole world now. The World Meteorological Day commemorates the coming into being of the convention establishing the World Meteorological Organization. The former International Meteorological Organization, which was a cooperation of international bodies working together, exchanging data and making forecasts, has since had its efforts strengthened since becoming the World Meteorological Organization. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja. To some entertainment stories now, Nigerian actor Olua Toyo Yesoya has called for more investments in indigenous movies going by the successes recorded in other cinemas so far. She made this call in an interaction with journalists after while speaking about her experience playing a role in the movie Ishola Alaokola. The actor believes indigenous movies can help preserve culture and traditions, thereby ensuring language doesn't go into extinction. 
feel we need to know our heritage. We need to go back to tradition and I feel it's not what it used to be and I like that fact because many people are forgetting where we're coming from. Many people can even speak Yoruba and they're Yoruba. But right now, with the Yoruba movie industry, things like that. And finally, on the news this hour, a Labour Party governorship aspirant in Imo State, Humphrey Anumudu, has been confirmed dead. He was one of the aspirants who purchased the Labour Party's forms for the next month primary elections in the state. The cause of his death is still unknown and the family is yet to make an official statement regarding his death.